period of time, predominantly we will be in a sattvic state. And that sattvic state is very, very important. So he says, this is sattvic action. What is rajasic action? Rajasic action is said to be that which is full of pain, difficulties, and which is undertaken by one who seeks worldly ends and a kind of egoistic, rajasic, confused. In the warfare, I mean in the war, in Mahabharat war, much lesser kings came and challenged Arjuna. Saying, come on, duel with me. Bhima looked at Arjuna and said, ignore that guy. Don't bother. Don't waste your time. He's just taunting you. Don't ignore. And he went on to say, come on. I throw the challenge. You're not responding. Come on. Duel. Is that a Kshatriya? Questioned. At some point of time, Arjuna felt, he is challenging my Kshatriya Dharma. I need to respond. Bhima was trying to tell him, ignore, ignore. No, 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 no. Krishna also said, Arjuna, not required. Let him talk and go. He has challenged my Kshatriya Dharma. I need to go. That was a trap. Drona has set himself everything by which they could capture Yudhishthir. Yudhishthir could become a captive and hand him over to Duryodhana. This is what Drona wanted to do. Captive. Catch Yudhishthir. And Drona said very clearly, as long as Arjuna is there, this is not possible. So Duryodhana said, that is very simple. You see, Sometimes the enemies have understood us better than our friends. Duryodhana was sure Arjuna will fall for it. Set a trap, clear, Arjuna fell. People tried to evade, he did not. And that man took Arjuna to the other side of the battlefield that far. It was too late for Arjuna to return. Yudhishthir would have been captured, would have been captive. Abhimanyu saved the day for Pandavas, sacrificing himself. He saved. Otherwise, that day it would have gone. Unnecessarily. Suddenly he got confused. That is Rajasik. What is right, wrong, not sure, very egoistic suddenly. How can this be? Uh, suddenly something small becomes so important. And swear by it. We come across people like that, isn't it? Rajasic state. Small thing which could be ignored, neglected, will suddenly look very important. Confused state. So that is how Rajasik is. Actions generate pain. Actions generate, uh, um, you know, which, which, which comes from deep ego, wrong understanding, a Rajasik mind, Rajasik action is only this way. It's said to be that which is full of pain and which is undertaken by one who seeks worldly pleasures, worldly achievements, and who is very egoistic. And now we see what is tamasic. He says, tamasic action is said to be that which is undertaken due to delusion without considering the consequences. Tamasic action, tamas Tamasic action is born out of ignorance, which is undertaken due to delusion 
and one is not sure of the consequences, the loss, the harm, what it can, not sure. There are many a times we do certain things when we are in the tamasic state. The action would be not called for, not required, just to born out of uh, illusion, deluded. And they would all be vain actions, unnecessarily. And one won't know why you did it. Oh, so I'm so sorry it happened. But why? It just happened. I think from Tamas. So born out of ignorance, not sure why one is doing, simply do, what will be the consequence? Not able to apprehend. If I do this, this will be the consequence. What could be my condition? Not able to apprehend. Unable to see further. Just carried away momentarily. Many a times when people are in tamasic mode, this is how they perform action, which, can't, which they can't see further, what will be the consequence, etc. I met a police officer, commissioner of police of Punjab. And that time in Punjab, there was full terrorism. Youngsters took up to terrorism and he brought it under control, played a role, big role in crubbing it. In the discussion, he said, uh, how did you manage? Because uh, it was that uh, Punjab was so violent at one point of time, inclined towards Pakistan or they want to be by themselves. They called it Khalistan. But suddenly they came back. How did you do this? The man said, a person who is young, 17, 18, gets naturally inspired by terrorism because they see themselves as revolutionaries, etc. He gets in, inspired by them and he moves joins the brigade, continues. He is not able to see what will be his condition 12 or 15 years later. Because that is too far for him to apprehend at 17. What will happen to me at 35? A 17-year-old may not apprehend it at all. So they sat down Analyzed, we said, if we want the young insurgencies, young people going inside, we need to stop that flow of insurgency into terrorism. What should one do? This 30, 35 years consequence, you should be able to show to this guy at 2022. So when a person at 17, if he can see at 22, this will be his condition, then he can withdraw. Because you know, like I'm foolishly getting into something. So the department did this and brought that uh, lifespan from 35 to 22. So a 17 year old can see or 18 year old can see in another three years, this will be my condition. What, ha what happens to me? So the moment he could apprehend, he drops it. A tamasic mind cannot apprehend the consequences. We need to bring it to the knowledge. That's why there are people when they are tamasic, they perform actions which cannot, uh, because they are not able to understand the consequence of the action, what harm it can do, cannot see. Does it contribute to the overall uh, development? Cannot see. Mine. The things I do harms me. Uh, things I do harms the people around me. And still perform. That is tamasic action Born out of delusion. Continuing. Next three. Mukta sangonaham vadi 
ಮುಕ್ತಸಂಗೋ ನಹಂ ವಾದಿ ಧೃತ್ಯುತ್ಸಾಹ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ನೃತ್ಯುತ್ಸಾಹ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯೋ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಾರ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯೋ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಾರ ಕರ್ತ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಕರ್ತ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ರಾಗೀ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಪ್ರೇಪ್ಸು ರಾಗಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಪ್ರೇಪ್ಸು ಲುಬ್ಧೋ ಹಿಂಸಾತ್ಮಕೋ ಶುಚಿ ಲುಬ್ಧೋ ಹಿಂಸಾತ್ಮಕೋ ಶುಚಿ ಹರ್ಷೋಕಾನ್ವಿತ ಕರ್ತ ಹರ್ಷೋಕಾನ್ವಿತ ಕರ್ತ ರಾಜಸ ಪರಿಕೀರ್ತಿ ರಾಜಸ ಪರಿಕೀರ್ತಿ ಅಯುಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಾಕೃತಸ್ತಬ್ಧ ಅಯುಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಾಕೃತಸ್ತಬ್ಧ ಷಠೋ ನೈಷ್ಕೃತಿ ಕೋಲಸ ಷಠೋ ನೈಷ್ಕೃತಿ ಕೋಲಸ ವಿಷಾದೀ ದೀರ್ಘಸೂತ್ರಿ ವಿಷಾದೀ ದೀರ್ಘಸೂತ್ರಿ ಕರ್ತಸ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಕರ್ತಸ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ now he is talking about the doership three types satvik rajasik and tamasik he says satvik karta satvik doer is said to be one who is free mukta mukta sangah free from attachment a person who is free from attachment and performs action free from attachment to that very action and to the consequence of that action one who is free no attachment yet performs is a satvik to the action one is performing there is no attachment to the consequence of the action there is no attachment such a person is a satvik doer so he says satvik doer is said to be a person who is free from attachment free from egoism because there is no selfishness in that person this i am doing to please myself this i do i feel good nothing this is important it has to be done and i am doing it and to that very action there is no attachment or to the consequence the result which comes no attachment one is free such an action and is unaffected by the success or failure of it this is all the satvik way of performing who can be as a satvik doer karta perform action without attachment to the very action no attachment to the result the consequence of that could be joy sorrow victory defeat both not being affected even if there is a failure a person doesn't because he has never claimed the doership so to that very action he was detached this is a brilliant quality performing being so dynamic in the world and yet to that very action no attachment what would be the consequence of it no attachment i found this quality 100% in in our uh, gurudev you could see it completely dynamic so much of action so much has come up no attachment whatsoever once we remember united nations has given a certificate of appreciation to gurudev and we traveled from chennai all of us were in yuva kendra at that time we traveled to chennai carrying this certificate to be handed over to him and it so happened when we reached bombay powai ashram this particular bag in which the certificate was kept was left in the taxi 
walked off. What do you call the youth? Useless. But he called youth useless. Three, four of us, I remember Harisham is sitting here. He was there, part of that group. We lost the certificate, United Nations. We have to go tell him, saying, Swamiji, this certificate they gave, we carried, it was in a bag. We left the bag in the, in the taxi. You know the man's compassion. He said, how much money did you lose? Do you have clothes? You want to take, I'll give you some money. Certificate, he did not bother. And we are feeling bad. He said, drop it, what are you talking? He didn't even see it. Someone has given him United Nations, UNO, for a program, they've given it. And we lost it. Didn't even bother. We can understand if one local organization giving a certificate, you don't bother, it's fine. United Nations, we lost it. He didn't bother. He didn't affect. It doesn't matter to him. Work, no attachment. Fully active, efficient, nothing. And all that the man asked us was only that. Do you have enough money? to go back and all that. You need something, tell us. You see that detachment? It has to be performed. He performed actions throughout, but to nothing there was any attachment. Satvik to her. To the action there is no attachment. To the consequence there is no attachment. Either gain, loss, unaffected. This should inspire us. That we would perform our actions as efficient as we can. The doer should be sattvic. No attachment. Perform with efficiency, but detach to the action and the consequence. Rajasic doer is said to be a person who has attachment, who is desirous of the results of action, who is greedy, violent, impure. This is Rajasik. Go destroy anybody for that. Without any hesitation. Why it is Rajas. I want it badly. So what do you do? Destroy. Kill. Is that not true? In power struggle, in the history we have seen, children killing parents. Power struggle. The king is thrown into jail. By whom? By his own son. Why? You have not given the power. Push. Siblings killing siblings for power. Violent. Greed. That is Rajasik. Dominated that way by Rajoguna. No hesitation, no matter what. Could turn out to be very animalistic for personal gains. So a rajasic person performs actions that way. Rajoguna is harmless if it is for sattvic work. For self, without selfishness, if one is dynamic, rajoguna is needed. Gurudev had rajoguna, but not for selfishness. So that way we should have the clarity. So otherwise a rajasic mind is one which uh, rajasic doer is one who goes around destroying everything because extreme greed, no control at all. And the tamasic doer is said to be a person who is not integrated, who is not cultured, who performs action very deceptive and arrogant, harmful, lazy, postpones everything. These are the traits of tamasic doer. Harmful, lazy, deceptive, and also stubborn and arrogant because he believes in the part, not in the whole. 
and lives that way by which life goes only in ignorance so tamasic doer lives a life of lethargy very stubborn completely ignorant a rajasic doer is extremely greedy violent satvik is performing right actions which needs to be performed without any attachment more of this we will take up tomorrow om shanti 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 hi <laughs>